Good morning, I'm John Ellsworth with Success Strategies Incorporated. I'm the founder of Success Strategies Incorporated and the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage. And I want to welcome you to this morning's presentation, which I have entitled, Would You Meet Me Upstream? The reason I use this is, um, as a title is because most of what you're going to hear today is based upon a book, a recent book that's been published by uh, Dan Heath at Duke University uh, entitled Upstream. And the reason I like this is because so often you and I are firefighting, if you will. We are solving problems, as Dan Heath calls it, downstream. We're solving problems that rather than getting to the real source of the problem, we're looking at the after effects and then trying to remedy it after the fact, which is much more difficult and quite often less effective. Uh, so this upstream way of thinking is certainly a different way of thinking, but see if you can relate to the following story. This is from chapter one, and I, I want to share this with you because I think it drives home a very valuable and positive point. And I quote, you and a friend are having a picnic by the side of a river, and suddenly you hear a shout from the direction of the water. A child is drowning. Without thinking, you both dive in, grab the child, and swim to shore. But before you can recover, you hear another child cry for help. You and your friend jump back in the river to rescue her as well. And then another struggling child drifts into sight. And then another. And then another. The two of you can barely keep up. Suddenly, you see your friend wading out of the water, seemingly leaving you alone. Where are you going, you demand. Your friend answers, I'm going upstream to tackle the guy who's throwing all these kids in the water. End of quote. That is actually a public health parable, uh, which is commonly attributed to a gentleman named Irving Zola. But I think it's a great introduction for this type of thinking. It's a great example of upstream thinking. We spend so much time and money because time is money in some respects, of uh, fixing problems, putting out fires after they've happened. But remember the old adage that I've shared with you dozens of times in these videos previously uh, for next level thinking, and that is the, if you measure something, you can understand it. If you understand that item, whether it's cash flow, reproduction, whatever you want to measure, if you understand it, you can control it. And once you have control over it, guess what, folks? You can improve it. This really works. I've been using it for clients for over 20 years. And even before I was familiar with the measurement, understanding, controlling, and improving concept. But it really works. So what I'm challenging you with today, and I would ask you to think about is, can we go beyond the downstream effects of measuring things and putting out fires after the, after the fact. Uh, can we, in fact, go upstream in our industry? I think that we can. Let me provide you with a simple example. I recently had a client who was starting to experience higher calf losses, which was crazy, we thought, because they had done so well uh, since 2007. So that's a long time of proven great results with calves. So only naturally, the first thing we looked at is, what the heck is the calf ranch doing? They're, they're killing these calves. How, how is that? Why are we losing so many? Uh, the calf losses were really a downstream measurement, were they not? We looked at it after the fact and went, gee, we're losing X percent of these. Uh, very high. It wasn't terrible, but it's very high for this operation. Uh, so now we challenge ourselves to go upstream in our thinking. And you know what we found? We found a pasteurizer being used for colostrum, which was only working about 60% of the time. In other words, two out of five days, two out of every five days, uh, it was not working effectively. It was working to some extent, but not fully. Um, unfortunately, the employee that was in charge of that area uh, with the calf calves, did not report the problem. Why he didn't report it, I have no earthly idea, and I, I would just say, who knows? But the fact remains that he did not report it. 
So when you look at your operation, think of, of this as an example. It's a simple example. It's almost silly to think about it, why no one reported it. But it happened. Busyness. We all get busy. We start to think, well, maybe it'll correct itself. Uh, this wasn't happening. And he wasn't really using the concept that I mentioned earlier. He wasn't measuring it. So he didn't understand it and didn't take control. And as a result, we didn't improve things. But what happened, it was going the opposite way. Our downstream measurement was something that helped us catch this problem and correct it. But the sad thing is, could we have done something sooner had we been upstream looking at these types of measurements? So what I would recommend as we near your end, uh, take a look at your operations, but take a look at it, your whole operation in more of what I would entitle an upstream manner. An upstream manner where whether it's higher costs per hundredweight that are bugging you, uh, efficiency measures like cows through the parlor, uh, the number of employees you have, labor efficiency, um, or maybe it's something as simple as employee motivation. I would suggest that as we go into 2021, join me and plan to move upstream. It will pay huge dividends. I think it'll be a real winner for you and for me as well, as well as all my clients. Again, I'm John Ellsworth with Success Strategies. I'm the founder of Success Strategies and the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage. Thank you for listening today.